and welcome back! My dear fellow pirate, do ye want rich to be? To get treasure beyond your wildest dreams? To fight nuggets of gold as big as ship's beams and diamonds and rubies the size of your eyes? Just follow this experience to claim your price from a friend. Yeah, this was a passage from a book by Johnny Dottle. I hope I pronounced it right. Uh, the book is called The Pirate Cruncher, and I stumbled over it, and I was really impressed. I really like the cute graphics of them pirates. And as you know, I'm since months, I'm in a, or well, maybe years, I'm in a pirate mood. So I, I'm really attracted to pirate art. So yeah, can really recommend it. It's, it's actually also very cheap. I don't remember how much I paid, but yeah. The Pirate Cruncher by Johnny Dottle. So hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Le Box Ring. Episode 12! In this one we are going to create the skull lighting pass. And since we are dealing with light and soft shadows again, we will need a softer renderer. So go over and find yourself one. Yeah, pirate, find one! Copy it over. And then also add a Merge 3D and hook it in already. And here we are going to need a light, uh, a spotlight, and we can go over to the left and just grab a copy of our lights. Maybe one that has this bluish color. Copy it and then go back and paste it in here. Then hook it in, bring in a replace material and hook in our skull. Put this into the merge and view it. Now it's time to create our material. If you move up, you can find a new box called Skull Lighting Shader. In here, drop in a Cook Torrents material. Let's view this one and let's change the color. For the red, choose 0.116, the green 0.224 and the blue 0.21. Open the specular drop down and set the specular intensity to 4. For the roughness choose 0.236. Ok good. Now let's bring in our bump map. Zoom out a little bit. Here we go. From here branch out and alt release and choose bump map. Then create a router here and now we want to use the specular map construction we have here and uh, we branch out from here and ALT release to choose the specular color slot. Then again, this time choose specular intensity. And again, and, again. and choose roughness material. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again. Shut up! Add the material to our skull first and change the view to perspective and zoom in a little bit. Now let's go to our bump map and I'm going to show you a simple pirate method that I showed in my previous tutorials um, to improve your bump map. View the normal map, then drop in a blur node and hook the normal map into that. And view it. Set the blur size to 2.185. Add a merge node and what we do now is we take the normal map and we merge a blurred version on top of it. using the apply mode overlay. If you hook this into the bump now, you can see that the bump becomes more defined. Let me compare this for you. Now, if you like, you can adjust the gain here to make it less defined.
Okay, now let's render out this path. Navigate to the renderer and view it. Yeah, not too impressive, uh, uh, huh? Yeah, but we can bring this further. <laughs> let's treat the light. Select our spotlight and then change the intensity to 5. And reduce the shadow map size to 1024. This should be sufficient as we gonna use soft shadows anyway. So the harder your shadows are, the more resolution you will need in order to avoid uh, jacked shadows. Now if you're coming from 3D, you know what that means. Yeah, you're almost a pirate then. So set the multiplicative bias to 10 and then the softness of the shadow, we set it to 0.02. Now swing over to the transform tab, set the X offset to 3.489, the Y offset to minus 0.1037 and the Z offset to 0.4387. For the rotation set the X rotation to minus 171.043. For the Y rotation set it to 82.2634 and the Z rotation to minus 171.1. One, two, three. A drink with me. There are, you see. Good, that is looking so much better now. So let's select the renderer and we'll double the resolution in order to avoid uh, anti-aliasing problems. Um, so swing over to the image tab. In here type multiply 2. The same for the width. After this renderer add a gamut and set the source to sRGB. Then add a resize node to resize to our final resolution. Again, this is to fix some edge issues. Excuse me, me think me would reduce the bump normal blur. Uh, yes, perhaps uh, we can do that. And uh, let me set the blur size to, let's say, what do you guys say? Uh, we'll give it a nice and clean one, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoa, nice. Yeah, you can see this line now here pops much nicer. Great guys, you have concluded this episode. This was, and believe it or not, this was the last essential pass needed for our beauty pass. So let's move on to the next one, which is... The Skull Dark Eyes. My name is Vito, I'll see you soon. Until then, enjoy what you're doing. Wanna say yo ho ho 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 Slash!